Three people dead and a fourth wounded. It's a story making headlines across the country. Police say a man fought back against four thieves in what followed was a shootout with more than 70 rounds fired. This happened on Sherman and 71st in East Houston. That's where we find Channel 2's Taisha Walker tracking this story all morning. Taisha. Jacob, the information just coming in to us about 30 seconds ago just updated that there were five suspects, not four, which we have been reporting all morning. We're told that three of them are dead and two are at a hospital. Take a look at the scene. You can see investigators have been out here for hours now. This happened around 1245. You can see all of those yellow evidence markers. We have seen up to number 90, so uh, a lot of um, evidence markers out here. We don't know if all of them are shell cases but I am told that this was possibly a home invasion. Uh, investigators are still working to figure it out. We do know that the suspects, all five of them, uh, went to that home that you see off to the right of your screen and tried to rob the homeowner. We are told that it was just one person inside of the home now, not two, that the homeowner did uh, fire his gun, and it appears as though there was a shootout. We don't know how many people began shooting. So let's get to the second scene. We are told that um, some of the suspects went in a vehicle and tried to get away. One of them uh, did die there, and there was a third scene uh, just a few blocks away from that scene, still in this uh, general area where the shooting happened at this home and we're told that another person died there so if you're keeping track we're told that there were five suspects three of them died police right now talking to the homeowner this is going to continue to develop we will bring you more information on our website at click to houston.com throughout the day for now reporting live on the east end taisha walker kprc channel 2 news all right taisha thank you as we said a lot of interest in this story it's become the most viewed story on click to houston.com we'll continue to have updates all day there and on the KPRC2 News app.